hello everyone today we'll be discussing a topic which is front and back vertex power of a lens so this is a topic which is very much useful when we take into dispensing as some of the formulas here are very important in terms of the effective power when we do a refraction so if this is an ophthalmic lens with a refractive index n and a central thickness of t we all know that there are two surface power here that is f1 and f2 so what front and back power vertex power means that when a ray of light will hit the front surface of the lens and go through the lens so at this point a which is at the back or also called as the back vertex point of the lens here the amount of vergence will be different when compared to a ray of light which is coming and hitting the back surface first going through the thickness and coming out of the front surface at point b so at this point b it is called as the front vertex point so the amount of vergence or deviation or the refraction of light which is happening will be differing slightly as compared to point a and point b though the power of the lens for front and back surface power is same but the amount or the direction of the light which is it going through will differ so we all know that one formula which is f is equals to f1 plus f2 this means that the power of lens is equals to sum of the front and back surface but for our concern it is not only about the total power of the lens but also at different point which is the front and back vertex most importantly a back vertex power is important because our eye is situated somewhere around here so the ray of light coming from the front surface will hit and go through this thickness and arise from this back surface to the eye so the amount of refraction or the refractive power at this point a or the back vertex power is of more concern to us in terms of refraction of the eye so here t is the central thickness n is the refractive index of lens at point a the refractive power which is there that is called as the back vertex power which is at back vertex point and at point b it is the front vertex power so these are some of the key terms which should be used so coming on to the first term which is front vertex power it is defined as the sum of your front surface power and the effective power of the second surface at front vertex point so what i'm doing is at this point b which is the front vertex point the total power or the refractive power here it will be the sum of this surface which is the front surface and the effective power of the back surface why effective power because of the ray will be hitting the surface and go through this thickness so because of this thickness the change in the slight power that is what is called as the effective power of the back surface so the formula is given by fv which is front vertex power is equals to f1 plus f2 whole divided by 1 plus t by n where t is the thickness of lens central thickness n is the refractive index and again f2 is the back surface power so this complete one is your effective power of the back surface at front vertex point plus the front surface power that will give you front vertex power coming on to the next formula which is your back vertex power so when we say the term back vertex power it is the effective power at the back vertex point so how do i calculate it so at this point if you see this surface is incident so it is the sum of second uh, the back surface or the second surface plus the effective power of the front surface or the second surface in relation to this so it is defined as the sum of back surface power and effective power of the second surface at the back vertex point which is given by f v dash is equals to f2 which is the back surface plus f1 plus 1 plus t by n which is thickness central thickness divided by refractive index into the power of your front surface so this is how we find the power of front and back vertex let's solve an example in the upcoming slide and see how it actually works out so taking an example that to calculate the front and back vertex power of a lens with a front surface power of plus 6 diopter and a back surface power of minus 2 diopter with a refractive index of 1.50 and the central thickness of 4 mm so let's see it is given with for f1 which is plus 6 
f2 which is minus 2 n is given 1.5 t is given 4 mm so let's calculate your fv which is given by fv is equals to f1 plus f2 1 plus t by n f2 so this is first surface plus the effective second surface effective power so once I substitute all the power which is f1 is plus 6 f2 is minus 2 1 is same t is given 0.4 uh, mm which is converted into meter that is 0 0.004 m meter divide by 1.5 that is refractive index multiplied by f2 which is minus 2 so once I solve the complete equation I get plus 6 plus minus 2 divided by 0.995 and finally the answer which comes is fv is equals to plus 3.99 diopter so if you see here the power for the front vertex pow power is plus 3.99 which is almost near about to your total power of the lens which is plus 6 minus 2 that becomes plus 4 coming on to the back vertex power that is fv dash is equals to f2 plus f1 divided by 1 plus t by n f1 so that is the formula we already know once we substitute all the values that is f2 is minus 2 f1 is plus 6 1 plus 0 0.004 divided by 1.50 whole in uh, multiplied by plus 6 so once I solve the equation I get something like this which is minus 2 plus plus 6 divided by 1.016 which will be equal to minus 2 plus 5.90 so I will get the value fv dash is equals to plus 3.90 so this is slightly differing from your front vertex power so if you see there is a change of 0 0.09 diopter from front vertex point to back vertex point so your actual power of the lens is somewhere around plus 4 that is front surface plus 6 back surface minus 2 so it will become plus 4 diopter spherical but the front vertex power is around plus 3.99 diopter whereas back surface back vertex power is plus 3.90 diopter sphere so this is the variation which we generally see into your lenses so what we learned that in thin lenses we can directly get the power as f1 plus f2 but whenever there is a thickness to the lens obviously the power will change and there will be slight differentiation in the power at the front and back vertex point and this is how we calculate the power at front and back vertex point that is front vertex power and back vertex power thank you for your patient listening at this lecture i hope you understood what is front and back vertex power stay tuned in our channel and we'll be back with new videos on optics and dispensing thank you and goodbye